Number Senate Bill 109 is uh, an elections cleanup bill here on making sure that we make, keep elections fair uh, and accessible. Uh, it works to reduce the inaccuracy of the ballots that are sent. It works to systematically clean up the voter rolls so we don't waste money on sending to inactive addresses. Uh, and then it removes the status of inactive status for failure to vote. Uh, so we have now in Colorado around 300,000 voters in Colorado who may have missed the last election, whether they were serving in active duty in Afghanistan, whether they might have been hospitalized, whether they might have just chosen not to vote. Those are 300,000 Coloradans who won't get a ballot by mail and won't know that it's not coming. Uh, and so this simply uh, restores those folks to the active status voter and replaces the inactive status fail to vote with an active status uh, undeliverable mail. And so I uh, move Senate Bill 109, ask for an I vote is it removes the penalty for one choosing not to vote in one election cycle. So as I'm sure you would agree, part of your constitutional right to vote is also your constitutional right not to vote. And the problem is that the way the system is set up now, you would receive a mail ballot in the primary. Uh, you just wouldn't receive a mail ballot in the general, and you wouldn't know why you're not receiving one or that you're not receiving one. And so if there is a, a grown adult who registers to vote by mail permanently, we believe that when they said permanently, they meant permanently, which is they would like to receive those ballots by mail until they ask not to. So if you had testimony like we had in committee where you have someone who was on combat patrol in Afghanistan during the 2010 election, didn't have the time to pop in and submit a ballot, um, that they would have to somehow re-register or they would not get a ballot unbeknownst to them seems uh, patently unfair. And so our goal is just to say, if you ask to be a vote-by-mail voter, we'll believe you and keep you as a vote-by-mail voter until you choose to remove yourself. We won't have the state automatically remove you because you chose not to vote once. And I, I just would respond to the question of, who is it that we are resurrecting, is the question. Who is it that we are resurrecting? Uh, that's a pretty good question. Uh, I will tell you, the people that we are resurrecting in this, in this situation are people like David Smith, who was on combat duty in Afghanistan in 2010 and did not have the chance to vote. I hope that he, we never assumed him dead in the first place because he happened to miss one election, whether it's because he was in active duty serving this country, whether it's because he was a 75-year-old person who was in a hospital with a hip replacement, or whether or not he didn't like Dan Mays, Tom Tancredo, or John Hickenlooper and decided not to vote that cycle. I don't think it's this body's place to decide that someone that makes that decision is constructively dead to the state of Colorado until we resurrect them. There are 10,000 people in your district center, Neville, that I don't believe are dead. I believe they chose not to vote in one election cycle. And I think they have the power to choose that, like any informed, alive Colorado citizen does. And when they decide to vote the next time, that ought to be their choice also, without us creating new burdens for them to meet. So I'd ask for an I vote on Senate Bill 109. I, I just want to close by saying that, you know, when I think about this bill, I think there are two major opportunities in American democracy where you have a chance to uh, make laws. Uh, and one of those is you have the chance to go to the ballot and vote for your representative who makes laws for you. And the other is when you get that notice in the mail that says that you're requested to go to jury duty. And you have the chance there to vote on the application of the laws, to say whether or not you think that this law as applied to this defendant is fair or not fair. Uh, and in jury duty, if you get the notice and you don't go to jury duty, they issue a summons for you to come get you and to make sure that you report next time for jury duty. I would think if I were carrying a bill today to say that if you don't report to jury duty, we will classify you as an inactive citizen and then never ask you to do jury duty again, you would all oppose that bill. Um, uh, I think that because what we have in jury duty is a structure that says uh, we want to provide all the structures we can to continue to encourage people to civically engage in this democracy. And I think that's a great part of what we do with jury duty. I think all we want to do in elections is the same thing, which is to say we want to do what we can to encourage people to civically engage in running their own democracy. And so uh, anything that we can do to make it more likely that they engage is a great thing. Anything that we can do that puts a burden in front of them, we ought to think twice about before we do. And so I think this is a small step uh, to help us maintain what I think all of us in this chamber want, which is a more actively engaged civic republic. Uh, so I'd ask for an I vote on 109.